see what we can grab real quick. Got a couple chairs. These are very nice. Oh, looks like there's two more back there. What kind of skateboard is this? Cryptonics. Kind of had to park out the way because um, so I see that entrance right there is very narrow. Let's see. Okay. Think about that one. Everybody, as some of you may know already, uh, Iris got her own channel where she's going to be showing some of the stuff that she finds where she goes to thrifting, garage sales, and stuff like that that I don't get around to filming. So, if you go to this link that's going to be right up here, uh, click on that little thing that pops up and uh, go check out her channel and do me a favor please go subscribe to her channel. She's been working real hard on getting all her stuff together and she's really excited about a new adventure. So, if you could do me the favor and show her this same support that you've always given me, click on that link right there and uh, you can straight to her channel and check her videos out. Thanks. These are vintage, so I'm going to take these two chairs, vintage, and I just saw the table back there. A little vintage set. Don't mind if I do. So, I do see a cute little flower pot here I'm going to take. Nice. Put this down right here. Oh. Tile? Yeah. Uh, man, I really I can't. Um, I'm, uh, no, unfortunately, I try to get stuff like this I can resalvage like that. Uh -huh. um, is it a lot? I mean, uh, it's like nine. Pretty yeah. Large things of 
Wow. Not enough to do. No, unfortunately, I don't think I could take it, man. I'd usually take like stuff like this, like redo, repurpose, okay. furniture. I got a bag. It looked like that had some like little antique stuff in there. You know what I mean? Uh, Maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, most of that's like old books. That the, yeah, I saw those a lot of books. Like uh, Twenty years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been in the garage, so they're not in real good shape. Yeah. Uh, there might have been some antique stuff. I don't really remember. Yeah, there was one little thing that looked like it was antique. So I said, oh, let me just take that just in case. Okay. This is worth getting. Yeah, most of it was just books or something that's been in boxes. Yeah. I don't know if this is actually for real. There was something in this box, but I decided not to open it. Oh. Oh, you like think it might, you think it might be in there? I don't know. I'm, I'll take it. It doesn't look too light. But, it, but there was oh. something in it when I opened it up. Yeah. It's, there's, I think there's so many bugs in the garage. I just oh, like, really? I wasn't looking too close. Uh, there's something in here. Yeah. It don't look like a grill. It looks like a VCR or something. Yeah, it's a oh. VCR. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. I That's don't know funny. how I did that or yeah. why I yeah. did that. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. You know, PCR. yeah, I, I would say because if anything, um, a lot of times what I'll do is uh, if so, certain stuff doesn't get, I can't use it, I'll, I'll just take it to a, a place where I take donations to. And uh, I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a VCR. Maybe a DVD player? Microprocessor. Oh, I wonder if it's like for satellite. Yeah, it's for cable. Uh, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Direct yeah. TV. Long yeah. time ago. Yeah, no, they can't do that. They can't do that. That's too old. <laughs> yeah, that was like two houses ago. <laughs> <laughs> you just managed to hold on to it, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Well, I appreciate you offering me the tile, though. I, yeah. Thank you. do put this up here I'll work that in there loading up on furniture today guys that's two weeks in a row two weeks in a row loading up on furniture but saving it from the dump saving it from the landfill let's see this guy's gonna go right here I know right up front, the French is not going to get a lot of money. It's kind of weathered out. But, yeah, see that one's too chewed up. Yeah.
There it is. Okay. Like this poster. Nice poster. Just in case. There's nothing here. Some grass. Nope, nothing in there worth taking. Alright, we're gonna take a look at see what's in here. something good in here. Let's start driving off. So for sure looks like we got some silver earrings. We'll have to take a close look at this when we get home. Have I told you lately that I love you? Yes, I do, guys. I love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out. Hit like, hit like, hit like if you want me to sing a little bit more for y'all later on. Do it now. Or you can hit dislike. That's fine. Hit dislike if you need to. But either way, push something, guys. Get get active. Let's, let's get this channel going. Uh, really let YouTube know that we're doing a good job. All right. I want the video, guys. We got a bunch of good stuff underneath this blue tarp right here. Can't wait to show you. There we go. So, got some nice chairs, some more furniture, guys. We loaded up on some furniture again. Um, I got the glass top for that stuff put away. But I can't wait to go through these bags. So let's get set up, guys. Let's go through the big stuff first, and then we'll through the bags here at the end. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, folks, let's go before the sun starts to come down on me completely. What a bunch of awesome stuff that we found last night, guys. <laughs> All right, check this out with the Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream poster. Exquisite piece. Really nice poster with the complete speech there at the bottom with Dr. King himself speaking over the people. Great moment in our time's history. Great man in our nation's history. Lord knows we do need more men like him. All right, moving on. We got the little end tables here. Ah, uh, just noticed that one. This might be a, uh, oh man, disappointing. I just noticed that. These might be free, we'll see. I'm about to give this away for free to someone who wants them due to condition. We got awesome patio chairs right here. Excellent condition. They're all, it's like a snakeskin pattern almost. Really nice condition. Really nice pattern there. You got four of them with a the round, round, uh, what's it called? Round shape there. Very nice indeed. You got the Kryptonix skateboard. This piece here is one of my favorite I've ever found. This is such a nice piece of mantelpiece that the guy said that his wife's father's father or something like that. It's like, it's an antique. This is very old, handmade. Uh, guy built this, put it together. Extremely nice piece. I have to make sure I take good care of this guy and make sure that I move it around gingerly and gently. I don't want to break it. Very, very beautiful piece. So look at that. This wasn't in the trash, mind you. The guy did say he had this. Well, you guys saw in the video, he had it in the backyard. Um, he didn't know what to do with it. Uh, because I was at his house making the stop, he asked if I wanted anything else. This is one of the things he offered me. I gladly took it. 
another piece here this might be another freebie it looks like it's lifting up right there it is unfortunately but there we have it another nice little vintage piece here that's from the same house as this guy it was this vintage costco folding table and two chairs uh really unique piece definitely looks mid-century what do you guys think mid-century i think so maybe 60s and of course you got the big looks like this is like a patio table or i guess it could be used indoors i'm not sure but it's a really big table they had free on it glad they took it off their hands looking good guys looking good what do y'all think i'm liking it so far so let me get this stuff put away uh, before it gets too dark on me and we'll go through these bags here in just a second all right guys so this first bag is the one that had that jewelry in it um the jewelry's at home so i will uh show you guys that jewelry when i get home but i wanted to go through it here real quick uh, i haven't looked at this bag since so i'm hoping curious i'm wondering if there's anything else in here um, there were a couple cds some of them didn't have anything in there alabama Goo dolls. So, kind of going through this guy. Doesn't really look like much in here, guys. Um, I just brought this back home just in case. I don't know what that is. We got a watch. A Jurassic Park. Oh, cool! Jurassic Park Lost World Stegosaurus watch. That that could be worth some money if it's uh, if it's if it's old enough. So we'll take a look at that relic. Oh, come on! There's something in here. Nothing in there. here library card bank card mm. nothing in there really let me take these out just in case i can look through here a little better uh, this is a debit card but it expired 2004 so i'm not gonna worry about trying to dispose of that one. Oh, look at that a little bell. I'll hold on to that one. That one in here wraps up. So did y'all see that cute little bell? Something we can probably put at the booth. All right, on to the next bag. Uh, this is the bag that at that house that had those uh, that little furniture. So this, I don't know. I don't know if that's antique or not. No, made in China. Not antique. And here, oh, we got some change. From Italy, different countries. That's cool, Canadian. Oh no, is that Canada? No, Deutschland. So we got a bunch of change in here. We'll have to see if uh, any of those coins are collectible. That's kind of cool. Keep that to the side. This little angle here is gorgeous. Hope it works. It does. Unfortunately, one of our wings broke. Oh, dang it, man. How unfortunate. That's cool. I'm going to look this up. Genevieve? No. Geneva. This might be something. Some little keepsake. Some little uh, souvenir thing. Someone's little dog tags. 
headphones, but they are coming apart. Vehicle entertainment system. Well, I don't know. That might be something I want to hold on to. A brass picture frame holder. That's kind of cool. Hold on to that one. Yeah, this guy. I don't know what this was. Is this an alarm clock? I don't know what this is. Anybody know what this is? Leave a comment, let me know, because I have no idea. I'll have to figure that out, but I'm holding on to that. Top of that. And that is it for this bag, guys. All right, guys, so at that first stop that I went to, the one that had all the bags, the one that I saw I was gonna come back to, well, I did go back, but the man came out and said that there was nothing but trash in these bags and kind of didn't tell me to leave, but, you know, implied it. So I just said, okay, thank you. Didn't argue, didn't say nothing. Uh, and I just took off. So unfortunately I didn't get to go through any of those other bags. Um, maybe someone else went through earlier and he caught them and he didn't like that they were going through there. So he kept an eye out because I parked and as soon as I got out of the truck, he came out and said something. So. That being said, I'm gonna show you the two bags that we picked up at his house. Here is the first one right here. It's a rather large bag, and I think they said it was that. He's like, oh man, they, there's nothing but trash in here. So I was like, okay, well, nothing but trash. You know, he wouldn't mind me going through it. And well, you never know, there might be nothing but trash. Hair cutter, oh, that'd be cool if that was in here, but it's not. We got the little box, it says it's a girl. What do we have in here? Mace, rooms to go. Card, little discount card. What is this? The hello guys, rewards, a rewards card. Cash for silver, pawn, and gold. So there's a little cash receipt there. A couple pins, some pennies. Drop the pennies out. All right. The rest is pretty much garbage. You got a digit design. Music or something? I don't know. Not sure what that is, but keep to the side over here. See what we find out about it. Yeah, he had these speakers. And these speakers look to be brand new, so. Apparently, not everything here was trash. All right, cool, I'll see something that I kind of like. So this little razor here. It's supposed to be like a little electric shaver. It's kind of neat. Uh, these might be worth a little bit of money. So, we'll keep an eye on that, check that out. Bunch of business cards. And that. Oh, computer. So, let me go through here guys, cause it doesn't look like there's gonna be too much excitement. Let me see if we find some cool stuff and we'll get right back with you. All right, well that took a little bit longer than I went than I wanted to. Uh, what we ended up keeping was the little speakers there, whatever this guy is, a little hair clipper, this cute little Louis Vuitton bag. There was nothing in here, but it's kind of cute, little bitty bag. And then this real nice pair of watches. I'm not sure if this goes with it or not. Aldo, yeah, this one's Aldo. And then this one is called American Exchange. So, some neat looking look watches. 
put those to the side there and uh, let me go through that last bag and uh, i think we're going to be calling it quits here because it's getting dark fast yeah and here's a bunch of books that i picked up these are all going to go to donations i'm not going to try to sell these uh don't have time but yeah a bunch of books going to good donation got this guy here i don't even know what this is vivo home i'm about to look that up later we have the cute little flower pot the rest of that bag was nothing and here's the last bag from that one guy's house so we're gonna go through it right now all right i tied this bag too tight it took me a little bit to get it open um headphones other pieces of they don't look too good okay that's right let's see let's set this down let's go through this real quick this is by this is mr b's all right we got a quarter and a penny yay oh and a dime and the money now this is a decent bag though so um that might go with donations we'll keep that to the side yeah so it looks like a bunch of paperwork maybe some clothes uh let me dig through this real quick and i'll show you guys if i find anything <laughs> all right guys so as you can tell it got dark on me so i'm trying to maneuver my phone with this camera because I didn't think I was gonna be out this late so I didn't bring my stuff but we got a bunch of coins got this watch right here uh you know what I'm gonna show you these watches when I get back inside I'm gonna go but fetish synthetic urine look at that guys for those who want to pop negative on a drug test that is crazy synthetic urine that's a first for me but we got a bunch of hollow points i think it's kind of dangerous to throw those in the trash just because what if they go off i don't know and a bunch of coins so we'll I'll look at the coins see if there's anything special going on with those and then i'll show these watches when we get back inside look at the jewelry all right guys so i'm gonna do a quick look at the jewelry that we found the other night, um, I've already kind of gone through a lot of it, to be honest with you. So there's no surprise on some of the pieces. Like this one right here was silver. Uh, you could tell right away. Um, let's see if I can find the markings to show you guys. I kind of already looked at it through. Uh, here we go. I'm sure I can see. It's kind of hard to zoom in with this camera. But you know, this marked right there is 925. So that piece of silver there. Uh, these little earrings are silver they're marked so you got those earrings here and there's another little set this little ring right here is silver uh, these little studs right here are also silver these go with this and then make this little set right here as you can see so you saw those already <clears throat> these are silver they're like little cherub angels oh, where's the other one at i have to go in here and find the other one this i don't remember this being silver i don't think it was i don't think these were over here i'd have to try to test them to see if they were but i really don't think these were and uh these were silver also so you got these little x's and o style earrings as you can see here let me try to get the better angle on those those are nice i don't know where that other earring is for this guy here hmm. i think it's a little, a little stainless steel ring i was hoping this bracelet was silver um i didn't find any markings on it but uh, it's a nice little charm bracelet. I might see about, and see this earring here is not. But I'll test them anyways just to be sure because sometimes 
you know, the markings could have come off or it could be that they didn't mark it to begin with. But stuff like these earrings, I would have to test because they kind of have that silver look to it if you look at the front. But that here, hoping this was silver, but I don't, I don't think it is. Looks like there could have been some markings on there, but but kind of faded. So I'll, I'll put these on the test on the on the on the uh, on the acid test to see if they are. I've got that available to me. Let me see. This is not okay. Here's that other little earring. Can I keep these together? And I want to say that was it as far as the bigger pieces. He had a couple, of, a little pair of Mickey Mouse, uh, Minnie Mouse earrings. These are cute. They're not, uh, they're not gold or anything. Um, but being that they're Disney and Minnie Mouse, and they're from the Disney store, they're marked in the back. Uh, they should still sell for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks. I guess I'm guessing. I haven't looked at them yet. But y'all be watching out on Iris's page. You'll probably be listening to some of this on her Mercari. Um, if you guys don't know, if you click on the description of the box. In the video uh, you'll be able to see where her Mercari page is um, if you don't I'm not sure how to do that um, she always puts um, you're able to put hashtags like three to five hashtags now on on her Mercari page and if you just look up hashtag text and picker all one word uh, you'll find it that way too here's the other bracelet I was kind of hoping this was silver man but It feels like it. It just it, it doesn't have any markings at it on it whatsoever. But it's kind of like a Western theme. You get the moon cowboy boots, cowboy hat, like a little Native American there, saddle, horseshoe, stuff like that. So that's another one that I'm about to put on the on the machine. To, I mean, not the machine, but the uh, the asset test and all this other stuff over here. This one might have been silver. Yeah, I think this one was also silver. But it didn't have a matching pair to it. All this other stuff, though, getting down to the very end of it here, I could pretty much tell you that they weren't. But these are cute, you know, little earrings. I could put these at the booth, you know, Western style, if we had the matching pair. See? I'm trying to get all these matching pairs together. Little hearts. Here's the other. But I think these are broken. Oh, no, there it is. So you got this one, this one, there's some baby teeth in here, kind of weird, but that guy there, she just feels like that pot metal, it feels like it's cheap. This one here, I didn't see any markings on it, but I've got a feeling that this is actually gold, mainly because the... Uh, let me see, there's a marking right there. Let me get my eye open and check that one out real quick. All right, I took a closer look at these uh, earrings. And once I got it under the gem, the little scope here, I can see that it's uh, it's gonna be hard to read on here. But um, it says Monet on there. So uh, I saw the magnet, put the magnet on there. They didn't obviously pass the test. These here are not real. These here are not real. And everything else pretty much over here is just uh, junk stuff. So, there you have it guys. That is pretty much the jewelry there. I did want to take a closer look at these watches with you guys. Because it's starting to get dark when I filmed originally. Uh, Jeffrey Bean. I've never heard of this watch, but it's a good looking watch. That one there. Got this American Exchange. Again, a brand I've never really heard of, but it's not a it's not a bad looking watch. Anyway. And there. Then you got this one here. Another decent looking watch. Aldo. I do know that brand. And I think these other I think these other straps are the ones that go with this one. Yeah, that's Aldo also. So this one is the one that goes in this set here. And then the last one I'm gonna show you is gonna be this blinged out little watch here. 
Um, I'm guessing a woman wore this thing or a small guy because you can't close the links up on this guy. It's really tight. So even though it's a man's watch, I'm sure a woman probably wore this one. Or a small guy, either way. But this one has no markings at all. It's just for show. That's really it. Well, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. That was a lot of cool stuff that we found that other night. Uh, I was really excited to get that jewelry box. Just the adrenaline that you get when you see all that jewelry. You just, oh, man, I hope you score something big. Unfortunately, in our case today, we didn't really score that big. Uh, a few silver pieces. Um, those mini mouse earrings will bring a little bit. And then the watches will bring in some. So, but, you know, happy to have gone out there and saved it from being in the trash. Because it's better to be in my hands and then, you know, do with it whatever. Sell it or take it to donations, the junk jewelry or whatever it is. Versus it being in the trash. So, I'm in the truck, as you can see. I am on my way out to go and get the trailer to do another video guys for you guys tonight i uh, will be out and about picking so hopefully we have a good night but you'll be seeing that next week so that being said guys i do want to thank you for watching uh thanks so much for just hanging out with me and watch me and supporting this channel really um you guys do an amazing job and i really do appreciate it uh for those who've been here for a long time guys i really do appreciate you guys a bunch um for those who are new uh do want to say welcome of course and uh and hope you guys stick around for a while uh, we'll end this off the way we normally do, and that's with this prayer. Father, I just want to thank you for your abundance, Lord. Uh, thank you for just completely just um, just fulfilling our hearts and our lives, Father, uh, with all our needs, Lord. Uh, sometimes the uh, things that we desire, the things that we want, aren't necessarily the things that we need, but uh, you keep us, you know, your love and your grace and your, and, 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 and your favor, Father, is sufficient, and we just thank you for it. Father, I just want to ask you, Lord, that you would reach out to these channels uh, through YouTube and that you would touch the hearts and the minds of those who are watching, that they would uh, hear the voice, Father, and, and be convicted in their soul to want to start a relationship with you, Lord, if they haven't already. And for those who have, may have uh, strayed away in the last few years, that they would reconnect, Father, that they would reconnect that love, they would re reconnect that, that bond, Father, and that they would, uh, you know, grow their relationship with you. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for just the, all the amazing blessings that you do in our lives. Um, for blessing us with good health, uh, blessing us with the things that we've got. Continue to bless our marriages. Continue to bless us with good health, Lord. And uh, just those who are dealing with mental issues right now, Lord, uh, those who are dealing with anxiety, depression, um, we just bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. And uh, we, we, claim, we claim victory on those people, Lord, who are dealing with that stuff. We lay these burdens at your feet, Father, and we know that you're the God of all gods and there's nothing you can't do. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, so once again, uh, like I said earlier in the video, um, please go check out my wife's channel. Uh, she's got something good going on over there. She's got her first video up now. Uh, she's working on another video, so she'll have something up here, hopefully, in the next few days. We'll see, and uh, I'm gonna do my best to help her out with that, of course. But um, yeah, y'all go show some support, show her some love. Instead of me trying to fit in her videos in between mine, we just thought it'd be better for her just to do her own channel and for those who want to watch that kind of content of uh you know thrifting uh and finding stuff at the goodwills at the garage sales uh that's gonna be her that's gonna be her gig so y'all do me the honor and do me the the favor of going over there and and checking out her channel please and subscribe and uh support her in all the ways that you guys do me and uh, we really do appreciate it all right so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching again until next time peace love you and god bless see ya